Our guest tonight is an actress, an activist, a recording artist, and a talk show host. She's also the star of an inspiring viral video. Please welcome Kiki Palmer. Hi, Kiki. How are you? It's good to see you, man, in this, in this new surrounding. It's good to see you, too. I like that painting you have on the wall. I like those those logs in the back. That was, <laughs> Thanks. Really Everybody nice. loves my logs. You know, I think of you as a very upbeat person. And uh, I think every Kiki has got to be an upbeat person. Uh, it just goes with the name. <laughs> How are you feeling upbeat? Um, I think I think I I, I do feel upbeat. I'm a positive mm -hmm. person by nature, but um, I do think uh, my empathic side is definitely being weighed down by what's going on right now. This video that I, I referenced has 25 million views. Before we show it, I want to ask, had you been to a protest of any kind before? Um, yes. I mean, I went to the protests uh, in Ferguson for Mike Brown. I've been uh, through many different uh, protests, but not one like this in a time like I me. Mean, like this, I think, um, especially with all the stuff that was happening with quarantine. So kind of just like being around that many people at once was... Uh, it was um, a lot, it was different. It was a different energy, I think, because none of us had been anywhere in a while. Were you thinking about what you might say if you were confronted with, in this case, National Guard? Had you thought about that before you, you said what you said? No, I didn't plan on really seeing anybody like that out there. We were just marching, walking. I was excited to be there. Like I said, I hadn't been around much people in a while. And so I, and also I was really, really, or, like really wanted to be out there and to just protest for this cause. Um, and then I saw the, the National Guardsmen and they were like blocking us from going further uh, with the peaceful protest. And I think in that moment, I just kind of was like, I was weirded out a bit and, and kind of confused. I think from like a genuine naive place of like being confused as to why, why there's now this separation between us when they, they're human, like I'm human. I know they have a job to do, but like I don't know, I just felt like, why, why can't they be with us, marching with us? Especially now, I felt like, you know, even with what happened recently with General Miley, I feel like there's such a, a division being created uh, in society right now from every angle, whether you're in the military, whether you're black, white, whatever, that I just felt like we all need to come together. And I think I just was really overwhelmed. Um, and I didn't know really what I was saying. I was just really speaking from my heart and how I was feeling. And, um, you know, that was that. Let's take a look at what happened there. You have people in here that need your help. This is when you and y'all, y'all stand together with the community, with society, to stop the, to stop the governmental oppression, period. I, I, we I need agree. you. So, well, so then march with us. March beside us. You, you get your people. Y'all march beside us. March beside us. March beside us. Beside us. Let the revolution be televised. March beside us and, and show us that you're here for us. Make history with us. Make history with us. Okay. With us. Okay. I'm also protecting some of these businesses. Okay. 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 Well, can you do I'm me a, a favor? Loss, man. Can you do loss, me a favor? Can you take a kneel? Absolutely. Can you take a kneel? I don't know. They ain't enough for me. Let me see. They ain't enough for me. Now you said you didn't feel like the knee wa was enough from from those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I felt like we had an opportunity in that moment to, you know, we have the current administration making a point to make a statement about division. Uh, I felt like, like, let's just come together. Let's be beyond that. Let's be beyond what's happening. Let's, you know, it was a risk. I understand he has a job to do. But I think in my mind, I was just thinking at this moment, it's like, you know, what if your job is telling you to do something you don't believe in? Like, I, I know you want to be out here with me. I know you want to walk. I know we want to walk side by side. So let's just do it, you know? I think that's a dilemma that a lot of members of the military find, find themselves in for sure. But I heard that you heard from Joe Biden after that. He called you? Yes, he did. He did. He wanted to talk to me a little bit um, after that, I suppose. Uh, and, and so we had a conversation. I didn't get, get to ask him everything I wanted to ask him. But uh, it was good to talk, you know, and just to kind of hear what he's talking about and what he's saying, uh, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. And did you feel like he was on the right track? <sighs> ah, such a loaded question, right? Because, I mean, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, mean I guess he was <laughs> it's like, I guess he was cool, but I can't say I was this after the combo. I felt totally mm -hmm. thrilled or excited, per se. But it was it was good to talk, you know, and just to hear firsthand. Did you tell Joe when you had him? on the phone that you have a new single out called Thick. 
No, I did not share with Joe. You didn't? My new okay. single thick. I, did, I didn't share that with Joe. You know, I would have just probably, you know, put him out with that. He would have fell out. He not ready for the thickness. I like the idea behind thick. Tell everybody what the song is about. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been having so much fun with my music lately. It's especially been like a, a area of just spontaneity and just being able to have fun and not overthink too much. So I got my new song, Thick, and it's just about I me. Mean, we've been in quarantine, man, the entire time, and I've just been eating. I've been getting really <laughs> thick, you know? And that's, that's really just it. You know, I'm in the house. I'm eating. You're in the house. You're eating. You know, it's like, you know, yeah. a little thick. I know. I just see the refrigerator's in the house is the problem. If I could move the refrigerator for work, I would be okay. Hey, um, every right. night I will be making a, a donation, and tonight you've chosen the charity Black Visions Collective. Tell us a little bit about yeah. that. Um, well, I like the Black Visions Collective, I mean, obviously because they're, they're talking about the future of black people, um, and they are also, what I love about them, I think specifically, is they include the LGBTQ community within that, which I think sometimes, in, uh, when we talk about black issues, sometimes they can be overshadowed. Um, and so that's what I think mostly I was excited about with the Black Visions Collective, is it's all Black Lives Matters. The website is blackvisionsmn.org if you'd like to go to it and join us with a donation. Kiki Palmer, thank you very much, Kiki. It's great to see you. Thank you. It's good seeing you too, man. I hope we get to see each other soon again in person. Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> this is ridiculous.